Hey, welcome back to my channel. This video is just going to be an about me video. It's not going to be everything because that would be impossible to fit everything, <laughs> but it's going to be a big chunk of about me, about my life. So I think here what I'm going to do is I'm going to call you guys my zombie family. So it will be, hey zombies, welcome back to my channel. I love zombies, love zombie movies. Even the B-rated zombie movies, love them. So that's what you guys are going to be. I know, corny, goofy, whatever, but we're corny and goofy here, so it's it's fine. That's that's what we're going to do. So 100% me, that's what you get. Corny and goofy. I wrote down some notes so that I wouldn't leave anything out. I kind of went chronologically in my notes. My name is Patrice. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're not. I am married and I am a mother of three. I'm 35 years old. I will be 36 in December. Um, I was born and raised in California, Sonoma County specifically, which is considered North Bay Area for the San Francisco Bay Area. It's about an hour um, north of San Francisco was raised by a single mom. It was me and my half-brother in the house. Because she was a single mom, she worked all the time. And like all other 90s kids, it feels like we were home alone a lot. Um, I think that was pretty big in the 90s, whether you had two-parent household or not. Every, all parents were working. So a lot of our friends, it was the same way too. My family is very close to each other and not just my immediate family like my mom my brother extended family like aunts uncles cousins we love to be around each other we love to be with each other we love to have fun with each other that's our number one thing is we love to laugh we love to be around each other so much that we've quite often had a group of us living in the same apartment complexes um, when i was younger we lived in the same apartment complex as my aunt and uncle and cousins, um, another aunt and and cousin, my mat maternal grandparents, my grand my mother's parents, they lived in the same apartment complex, and then we just knew almost everybody in the apartment complex, and then other extended family. We all lived in the same apartment complex, and we all spent a lot of time together and have my entire life um, with one of my aunts, her and my mom. Our best like best friends um, and so we spent a lot of time with them almost every weekend if not every weekend we spent with them so I was with my cousins so my cousins are some of the closest people that I have um, in my life the closest person I have in my life is actually my husband those secrets not even people in my family but anyway and my family we like to spend a lot of time together we like to play games together we like to party together i mean like this is an adult channel so just that everybody so everybody knows i swear my family cusses where we cuss like sailors we love to spend time together we love to get drunk together not like alcoholic drunk hey we're gonna do this all the time but we love to hang out together we love to have parties even us adults we still celebrate our birthdays you know and have cakes and stuff like that i am still close with my family and have been my entire life. After high school, I left Sonoma County and I moved to Sacramento and I went to Sacramento Job Corps. And what Job Corps is, is it's a vocational school, it's a residential vocational school, and they have residential students that stay on campus in the dorms. And then they have non-res students that leave during at night so they come on center during the day and do their vocation so job corps has vocations like heavy equipment operator heavy equipment mechanic construction building and apartment maintenance um, security and investigations but my husband and my brother went through um, they also give you a chance to go off center and do off center trades is what they, they call them and those are at other colleges and that's what I did. So when you first go into Job Corps you go in in a group of 
resident students and non-resident students, it's called your input group. People in that group are considered your input brothers and sisters. Those are the people you go through the first six weeks with in every single class before you go and start in your vocation. It's when you're exploring to see what vocation you want to do. My current husband, who's my second husband, we went in on the same day. We were in the same input group. We were friends. I don't even remember when we became friends. We were just friends. I met my first husband two weeks into Job Corps. We were together for a while, decided to get married because we we're kids. We were 20. We got married, had our first baby at 20. We didn't, everybody thought we knew that was the reason why we were getting married. It wasn't, we didn't know we were pregnant when we got married. I had our second baby um, about almost two years later after the first and uh, we separated when our middle child was two months old. So I have three kids. My kids are um, Liko is my oldest. Liko, he's 15. Uh, my middle is Jaden and she is 13. And my youngest is Skyla and Skyla is 11. Me and my first husband separated and then divorced after Jaden. Um, after I got pregnant with Jaden, I decided I didn't want to have any more kids. I knew that me and my husband at the time wouldn't be together for very much longer. So I decided to have my tubes tied at that time because I was only 22. They told me I couldn't have my tubes actually tied. They had to put these clips on them in case I changed my mind. Four hours after Jaden was born, they took me into surgery. They kept my epidural in and said that they would just twilight me to where I didn't need to be intubated and they could just do their work and I wouldn't feel anything because I had my epidural. I started feeling pain as I was laying on the surgery table and I, the pain I was feeling was in my chest. They weren't operating in my chest so it was very strange that there was pain in my chest and the pain in my chest felt like they had a hold of a muscle and were pulling a muscle and the pain was enough to wake me up out of the anesthesia. I said, whatever you're doing down there hurts in my chest. You're doing it wrong. Scared the shit out of all of the doctors. Then I'm back asleep. Went to my six week postpartum um, after having a baby and having my tubes tied. And I told the doctor when I woke up in the surgery, she told me, oh no, that's not possible. Uh, that wasn't in the surgical report. That didn't happen. Uh, for two years, I told them there was something wrong. They didn't believe me. They told me everything's fine. I'm, after having my tubes tied and having Jaden, a while after I found out that I was pregnant, I went to the ER because I told them I had my tubes tied. They told me that this pregnancy was a one in a million thing and would, and would never happen again. I chose to end that pregnancy. I was a single mom. I was unemployed and I had two kids at the time. So I had to do what was best for my family. Um, and I don't regret my decision. Then a few months after that, I found out that I was pregnant again even though they said that that couldn't happen. I just decided that if they told me it was a one in a million thing the first time and it happened again, that's, that's pretty crazy odds. So I decided that I was supposed to be pregnant, that this baby was supposed to be here. So I went through with the pregnancy. I kept the baby and that is my youngest, Skyla who's sitting right here because she's my shadow and has to be near me. She says she has separation anxiety when she's not near me, so she has to be near me, even in the bathroom. Well, at 24 is when I had Skyla. So at 24, I was a single mom of three kids under the age of five. So that was interesting. Me and my kids lived with my mom. My mom was a huge help, um, but I was still a single mom. Everybody has issues with their parents when they live with their parents, so there was that. I got together with my current husband, my second husband, in early 2014. Liko was six. Jaden was four. Four and 
Skyla was almost three. She was two and a half, two when, when me and my husband got together. Um, so they were pretty small. They, they know him as dad. He's been there since we got married in August of 2015. And we've been raising the kids together that, you know, that's, that's daddy, that's dad. Um, they do see their biological dad. Well, they used to. He moved to Michigan, so they don't see him very often anymore, but that's a whole different thing. And not my business to tell here. That's my kid's business, so I'm not putting that out here. I have been a stay-at-home mom pr pretty much their entire lives, their entire lives. I've had jobs here and there, but my husband works and I stay at home with the kids. And that's how it works best for us because daycare is expensive. My mom helps out with transportation when we lived in California. Our family, we've been through a lot. We've been homeless twice. One of the reasons why we moved out of California to Utah is because we don't want to experience that again. Um, it's very easy to be homeless in California, especially for a family, and I don't want to experience that, and I don't want the kids to experience it again. Um, we only slept in our car once, and we made it fun. We told the kids we were car camping. They were a little smaller, so they had fun, and we watched movies as a family, but, you know, we don't want to do that again, and, and that's why we left California and came to Utah. Not only have we been homeless, we are from the area in California where the fires first started. We experienced, I don't remember if it's three or four fires. We were evacuated a couple of times. The first fire, our family was split up and we were separated. We didn't have a car at that time and me and the girls were actually at our house, which was pretty close to the fire. Um, and we had no transportation to get out of there. Uh, my husband had been at work in a, a small city near where we lived and my mom was able to go she lived in that city so she was able, she and she had my oldest for that night so she was able to go pick up my husband from work but because the highway was on fire and the back roads were on fire they weren't able to get to me and the girls that's a whole nother story that's the, that's a big story that's just one of the fires we've been evacuated a couple of times and there's other stories so that'll be other videos of what we went through um, being evacuated for the California fires and stuff like that. Also, being in California, um, our kids were out of school for a year and a half. So they went on spring break of 2020 and just never went back to school because of well, they were home for a year and a half. So that was really difficult for us. That was really difficult for them. The way that they set it up was insane. Maybe that'll be another story. If you guys want to hear about that, let me know in the comment section. Um, that'll be another video. We moved from California to Utah to have a fresh start. It's been kind of a bumpy road so far, but we're kind of getting in the groove now. My middle child has middle child syndrome, so she wants to get in trouble at school, so we have to deal with that, so that's fun. We're kind of getting more into smooth sailing from here. Um, the kids were kind of throwing fits because they want to go back to California, and, and we just can't afford it. We were planning on it, but we can't afford it. Um, and plus, we want to buy a house, and that's not going to happen if we live in California. Um, and I can't go to school to be an RN in California. It's too expensive out here. It's not expensive. My oldest is still in California with my mother. He is out there playing football for the high school that he goes to. He is a sophomore in high school and he just got pulled up to the varsity team. If you hear noise in the background, my, it's my family. My daughter's in here with me and then my husband is um, right in the room. Yeah, my son is with my mom in California. And she, my mom is wanting to move out here to Utah in June. So I'm not sure if that'll happen. So we'll see if it, that happens or not. I do have some chronic illness. I have fibromyalgia. I do have heart issues. I have something called SBT, which is supraventricular tachycardia, which means my heart beats pretty fast. I have heart palpitations. I think that I have intracranial hypertension. I have really bad migraines. 
Um, they think that I have a lot of pressure in my head, which is eroding the bones in my ear. I ha am having a hard time hearing out of my ear. I have GERD. I am going to be having weight loss surgery. Um, and then I'm going to have them fix what's going on with my stomach because I don't know what, exactly what's going on with that. And I'm, I know I'm missing stuff because I do have a lot of health problems that, um, that are going on right now and have been going on for a while. Um, but we're going and we're doing tests and I have to go to the university hospital in Salt Lake and have some tests done and meet with a specialist there and that is happening in December. So I will film that if I can. I will film as much of that as I can. I'm just an average mom that moved to a completely different state, never lived anywhere other than California. Only know a couple of people here in Utah, but we're making it work and figuring it out. There will be a lot of videos. I'm gonna start just cranking them out for, for the beginning so that I can get my viewership up and my subscriptions up and then we'll get into a schedule of when I release videos. I will let you know in another video. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me. Contact information is in the description box below. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, it helps me out, it gets more people to my channel. And don't forget to hit that post notification button so that you know when I upload videos. The next couple of videos are going to be like this. There's going to be a couple of sit down ones. And then there's also, I do have a couple of cleaning videos that are coming as well. So hopefully there'll be cleaning motivation. I know that whenever I watch videos on YouTube, they're always cleaning motivation videos for me or videos of moms cleaning. It just makes me want to get out of my seat and start cleaning. And usually I do. I will do another one of these or maybe a Q&A like questions about me um, later on once the channel gets going. I'll do another one of these. I'll do one with my husband. Um, you guys will see my kids. You will see my husband. And once again, I do swear this channel is going to be 100% me that I am. So I'm not going to censor. not, I'm not going to censor myself because it may, a word offends somebody. So sorry. So like I said, thanks for stopping by. And I will catch you in the next one, zombie family. Stay something. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. Stay, <laughs> Stay what? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Like Skyla said. Peace.